Hey guys, welcome back to Chariot Palmistry. My name is Sulab Jane, and in this video, we're going to be having a look at the lines on the hands that can tell you if you move overseas to another country. And we're also going to be answering the question on if you'll spend most of your life overseas, and even if you'll die overseas too. We'll be looking at the hands of someone who's, through their own hard work, has got a job in another country, and has bettered their life. We'll show you the hands of a kid who I think is going to grow up and get into like a visa scam. As in marry someone in another country for the visa and then end up divorcing her. We'll also have a look at the hands of a refugee to answer the question, will he ever go back home to see his country again? So first, let me show you the technique on how to tell if you'll end up moving overseas. What you want to be having a look at is a lifeline, which is this line over here. If you get these thinner lines that branch vertically upwards towards a middle finger, that is a sign that you will be moving overseas. And most likely this happens because of work reasons, and the middle finger, that's all about work. Actually, I just realized there's a pun in there, but we're not going to go down that path. Basically, these long vertical lines that cut through the lifeline are a sign of moving overseas. If you get these smaller lines, like these ones over here, that's an indication of a job promotion. But when they come like these two other lines that I just showed you, that's a sign of getting a better job overseas and moving for that reason. So this is the hands of a guy who was born in India, studied really hard, got a good job in, I think it's the United States, and he's living a good life over there. Now let me show you the hands of a kid who I think is going to get caught up in a visa scam. So this kid, when this photo was taken, he was about 14 years old. This kid is now 18. And basically we're seeing these long vertical lines which says he's going to move overseas outside the country that he's born in. And by the way, if you want to find out if somebody is going to pass away overseas or die outside the country of their birth, you want to have a look at their Saturn line and see if there's a line that branches inside the lifeline, like this one here that happens, that means that their final breath will be outside the country of their birth. But this kid, when he was young at this age, his parents wanted him to study really hard so he could move overseas. Basically copy the life of the guy of the hands that we just showed you a second ago. This kid isn't that gifted academically. And right now he's 18 and he's seduced a girl in Canada and he wants to go live in that country more or less for the visa. And we know it's a visa marriage because if you look at the marriage line, there's a big fork and a big island here. Meaning this isn't somebody he wants to get married to, but he'll end up doing it anyway so he can move overseas. Get divorced and then get remarried. That's the sort of hand we're looking at here. And this is a hand of this guy's father. Now we can see he's got these two small lines over here. So that means he will eventually move overseas. And because these lines are lower down on the lifeline, it means it happens later in life. If we look at his Saturn line, which is this one, and see the branch that curves in there, that means that this father will pass away outside the country of his birth. So the way I think this is going to go between father and son is that the son's going to do all that bad stuff with the divorce and everything else, then eventually call his parents to that other country. So this guy is a dad when this boy was younger, put a lot of pressure on the kid to work hard and study hard so he could have a better life outside of his native country. Because that didn't happen, they're going down this alternate route. Now a lot of you guys I'm sure believe in karma, so we'll just let karma sort this situation out. It's a very interesting thing to note there. Now this here is the hands of somebody who will not move overseas. So if you look at their lifeline, there's no vertical branches or lines here. And also, if you look at the fate line, you'll see that there's no branch that curves inside the lifeline either. Meaning that this person will live most of their life in the country of their birth. Now this is a very interesting hand, this one. We can see from this line over here, cutting through the lifeline, that this person will move overseas. But this guy's actually a refugee. He fled his country in Africa, and I think at the time this photo was taken, he was living in Germany. And the big question on his mind was, will he ever go back to his native land? 
So if we look at his fate line over here, you see how there's no branch that curves into the lifeline. What that means is that he's going to die in the country that he was born in. So at some point in the future, this refugee will be able to return back home. So it's a pretty simple technique, all of this. There's one other thing I do want to show you. Sometimes a fate line has this curve that comes around just like this. And when that happens, that's not a sign of you passing away overseas. Because remember, that curve has to cut through the lifeline itself. If it goes underneath, that's got a separate meaning altogether. That means that you're going to be having digestive problems. Now, if you guys do want to learn more about the lines for the job promotions I showed you earlier, click on this video here. And if you want to learn about digestive issues, click on this video here. Thanks a lot, guys.